Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. Oh, hello! It's Silver Spoon here from Son of Beast of the Incorporation of Sports here of NBA Playoffs of 2K Sports. The next matchup is about to be happening here as we move on to game number three. It's in between the Suns of Phoenix against Utah Jazz here and they'll be playing here at the Vivint Smart Over Arena in Utah of the Salt Lake City. As you can see, the jerseys have already been set up. It looks like we got some great intense ones here of the city jersey and a statement jersey right down there. In the meantime, it's time for the next game to get started here for Game 3. We're about to switch things up here for the Western Conference to Eastern Conference from each team's. Now, let's send you off to the uh, game broadcast crew of Son of Beast and Mephone to start things off here for the presentation. I will be back here for the post-game show for the top three star players of the game. Without further ado, enjoy your game, folks. This matchup is about to be turning down break. Women's Swan Home Arena of the Suns and Jacks. This is the next game. It's coming up right after this. And this NBA of the playoffs is about to be happening here for game three. Me and Son of Beast are here, and along with the sideline reporter will be Allie LaForce. Here is Allie. We will take it on the sideline. The Jazz, he talked to me about it. He said, they got me. My wife and I love it here. I don't think I can go anywhere else that plays the way we play. It's been so much fun being a part of a team that is so unique. And guys, after 12 seasons in Memphis, Conley has made Utah home. And he's made, and he's made on that one here. Thank you there, Riley. And in between the zones right now, Donovan Mitchell and the other team, their team is looking for a chance here to head back to the conference finals from 2K Sports. How does it feel that the Jazz are going to try to pick them up here? Well, I might be guessing there might be a, a good solution out there. It looks like the most of the players, they want the Jazz to step back in the Western Conference Finals and, and so on because there was another team that was being knocked out in the competition. So with that, it might be in between Devin Booker or Donovan Mitchell who wants to step things up here to the head advancement to the Western Conference Finals. And the second season with the Phoenix is Monte Williams and Quinn Snyder is right down here with the Utah Jazz. You can feel right now this might be the only tough teams that can be definitely playing here just like they did before. And right now the Jazz wins the tip off and we start things on for Utah Game 3 all fueled up and ready to go. Starting up with the lineups is point guard of Mike Conley and Donovan Mitchell here in the shooting guard. Royce O'Neal in point forward. Small, small forward is Bob McDonovich. And the tall man in the center, Rudy Gobert. The best defenseman player of the game. Crowder up. His first shot can't hit the floor. The marker is going to give him another time out trouble because that is going to be a very tough one to make that shot. Now, Bridges is over to Crowder. He dishes right to Booker. Open shot. Drives it in, and this one will be a first bucket for Devin Booker here in Game 3. Devin Booker was definitely a good, his greatest player here. He tried very hard, but all it takes, well, it may be a tough one to go by. Three-pointer delivers it up for Donovan Mitchell. It's a 5-2 game. You feel that heat pressure, that was going to be an open three. Crowder, this up to Bridges. Bounce passes up to Aiden. Ball for three, delivers it outside the range, and this will be carried up here by DeAndre Ayton, the assist. DeAndre Ayton's got a good open pass right now. For those who are making a mistake here, 
could be making it a lot more uh, difficult changing. That might be uh, tough enough to make that one a play. Now Aiden has his roll rebound. He will now switch things over here on Phoenix. Chris Paul outside. He does this off to Booker. Booker goes right over to Bridges. Five seconds to shoot. Aiden inside over Gobert. That's a great D here on Rudy Gobert, and he's got his first rebound. Rudy Gobert is entering the league here tonight. He might be going for a high-low post angle that wants to get him off the board and wants to give that one a run a great worthy credit. Since coming up here for the loss here against the all game sevens here and appearings here of game one through seven. The Suns are out in the playoffs. Well, the tough teams are going to make it count and say goodbye because all we know, now the Bucks are gone. Now the uh, the Suns are gone. There's only a new change up here that will be going to the finals here for tonight for the real game of the NBA. But for the NBA 2K Sports, well, we're not sure if the Suns are going to be leaving out of here or with the Bucks. The first foul is called on Donovan Mitchell that will be his first personal. And McCall Bridges is at the free throw line shooting two. And two bucket counts, so it's one shot. He makes that one in there as McCall has three. McCall Bridges is definitely a, a, the goodest player here at among, among the time. By the time he gets there uh, right in the, uh, in, the, in the painting area, he could definitely try to like go for another look open. Now Rudy Gobert, back pass to O'Neal. O'Neal looking for his run, Mitchell outside, this is the drain off three pointer. And this one gives up a tying game of eight. They are all looking over the place because of that one, the Utah Jazz is finding an open man average. Booker up to Aiden, two minutes left here in the first quarter. Three outside. Bridges carries it along the board as this one goes up for two. He, uh, he was on the three point line because the officials were making the rule call. It was a two point shot because he was on the three point line. Now Mitchell up for three. Helping defender out here. Now Gobert holds him on. Double defender. Chris Paul with the steal. They shot to Aiden. The Suns are back in back in position, lead by two. Bridges right back to Paul. The screen will be coming up here for Jay Crowder. Carrying the drive, Chris Paul answers the two-pointer. And now they extend the lead by four. Five points for Chris Paul. It turns out to be just like he did from here before. And a great trade off for Mike Conley. He's got his fourth, first one here. And now the second bucket. Under a minute now, here's Chris Paul. He dishes off to Booker. Booker sharing up here left and right. Back to Bridges. He dishes right back to Aiden. Back at six. Aiden going up. Free for Bridges. That goes out of nowhere with a three-pointer inbound. And up by five. Really shooting the ball around here. Lots of passes, a lot of uh, great offensive uh, rebound. They want to do uh, talk things over. They love communicating. Booker takes a steal. And two on one fast break. Feed off for Chris Paul is good. He's got seven points in the game. And assist by Devin Booker. Devin Booker, you know his status ability. He's gotten some uh, great average speed. He now gets his uh, first one to make him drive. Yeah, it's Donovan Mitchell making a layup drive, and now it turns back the, to Booker. They're trailing by five, down to under ten seconds to go. Booker off to Bridges, five seconds to shoot. Ball for three, and he makes one in there. That's a three-pointer connection, and that ends the first quarter. It's 20-12. to 12. The Phoenix Suns are looking for a chance to break the tie series here. They got some numbers, and we'll be right back to start the second quarter when we come back. This is what I've been waiting on. I make a player of basketball night in and night out. Keep my head down, um, staying locked in and seeing tunnel vision, trying to play the right way through it all. Um, 
You know, I'm going to keep winning basketball games, and you know, we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. You know it's for the opinion because of what uh, Devin Booker has done here, some winning situations he was getting it up, a courtesy here for in between the teams that he was looking for. If they're looking for a winning in situation, they got to keep it up on the podium. They played really hard, but with the uh, but with against Dallas Mavericks, they know they couldn't find anybody to look look over with. So this could be a problem to have them in range. Clarkson makes the three pointer there up again by five to Tram. Now they're back in transition here as right now the lineups are being occurred. We have a Nicholas Alexander Walker. Then it's Jordan Clarkson. Hassan Whiteside here on JaVel McGee. And on the other hand, as we call for, is Torian Craig. Lance Shemit, Cameron Johnson, JaVel McGee. And and the other hand, that turned out to be, that we all call for, Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne, not really the one who was going to be in pain right now, but he got pained up with the shot block since the last game of the postseason. It really did turn out to be the one of the one of the worst decisions here that they have done. And Eric Paschal slams down a dunk. They are coming back in very quick. Cameron Johnson outside, which is off to Shannon. Back again to Johnson. He moves over to Payne. From the elbow, Payne. That one goes off the rim, and it's Kay with the rebound. Rebound is just not just going to be enough to get right through it. They gotta just strike. Keep an eyes on them to try to knock them down. And now Rudy Gay has his first bucket here. They are down by. I'm sorry. I'm. I was. I was guessing it wrong. Um. I. I think it was that trailing by four. I think I believe. No, it was trailing by three. So that was three. Shevet back to Biggie. Just over around on one side. That goes off target, and he has his, gets his first rebound here. We're under three minutes left here. Gay ties the game. This one's a three-pointer. As Gay's got his first three-pointer, just tied the score. Now they're coming back in there. It looks like the other team needs some help here. Wow, McGee slammed that down quickly, and this one goes back up by two. JaVale McGee, what a powwow moment. And McKay with the block, and Torian Craig takes his rebound. What a play here on defense. The Jazz got a little knocked out here as the Suns got, got burned them up here from the, uh, from the other angle instead. Now they got something else to do here for the offense and try to pick up their run. Johnson back out to Payne. Takes a shot. It's rebounded by Whiteside. Another miss by Phoenix Suns. Now we approach down to two minutes to go. Alexander Walker tries the three. Basco rebound. McGee, two blocks in a row. And that's a great help here on defense, and he gets late whistle. As Chevelle McGee receives his first personal. And first team foul delivers on Phoenix. What a great tussle here for Hosan Whiteside with the rebound. He definitely wants to beat it up. But for JaVale McGee, he has given up here. He made two blocks in a row, but now he was attacked early here right on Hassan Whiteside. So he was not able to pick up his mic timing here. He has to like try to like keep it concentrating, and that gives him a foul trouble here for the Phoenix Suns to give it off here in game three. First free throw comes in here for Hassan Whiteside. New players are checked in right now as JaVale McGee checks out and Aiden is checked back in along with Crowder, Bridges, Paul, and Booker. All five players comes off the court as, as Whiteside moves over to point forward. Connie Mitchell and Rudy Gobert are checked back in. And the two free throws here for Hassan Whiteside has made it through. And you can definitely tell that Hazan Whiteside has definitely played here just a couple of seasons with the, with Miami Heat. And then the last season here that did turn out to be just like he did here before was the Trailblazers. Aiden just is off here to Crowder. He backs it up over Hazan Whiteside. That goes off target here. A rebound here by Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell was going to be a, a huge successful take with the take-in down. Donovan 
Donovan Mitchell can't make the three. Now in with the ball. This is off the ball. Back to Brooker. Booker on Bogdan. Ball dished back to Boyd Bridges. And this calls for offensive foul here on the Phoenix Suns. That goes here to turnover. And taking a look at the assist of each game, 8.9 was the new record that picks up here over 2019-20. What a smart move here. Chris Paul was delivering excellent feet here in the assist of each game. Now you will know that he will try to face him up here for tonight. Rebound here again by Crowder, but another miss by Utah Jazz. Once again, we're still tied up here in the first half of the game. Only 45 seconds to go. Back to Bridges. Moves it back to Paul. Now the screen is on Aiden. Helps the feed. Aiden inside. Look out with the take and the foul is called on Hazan Whiteside. That will count the bucket here for the Phoenix Suns. This will be his first personal second team foul. That the feed here, that you definitely didn't want to give that one a call. That gives it up a good credit here by DeAndre Ayton. That definitely did give him all here, just like he did before. The new changes are being subbed here as Hazan Whiteside is checked out and Royce O'Neal is checked back in. And Aiden will drop it here with a free throw, leading by three. Utah trail by three. Donovan Mitchell on Booker. Only under 30 seconds left here in the regulation of the first half of the game. Conley on Paul. This is back to Mitchell. Three-pointer steps in. Good! Outside the range, it goes in. And now they're all tied up now. They're doing as much better as they can here. They wanted to see how much they could do spread in the game between the attack zones. They got something else to do here to try to make them pay for. Hooker two-pointer, and Vanich takes the two-point lead. And the Suns are up by two. The off-court shot will be off target. And that ends the first half of the game. It's the Phoenix Suns 29 and Utah Jazz 27. And a chance now to check, catch you up on the sideline, Allie LaForce. Allie? shots the guys we talked about. We'll be better as we go forward. We gotta get out and run, but our defense will help us run more. It all starts on D. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much, Joe Rally. We'll be right back with the second half. First quarter coming up next after this. The world's about to happen. Let's have a recap and a discussion. Take it away, guys. Ten points, two assists, and one steal. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? Well, I like what I'm seeing on the offensive end. They're keeping things simple. Getting to their spots and executing. Nothing fancy. Kind of like Shaq Soup. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Gotta give some credit to the energy of their bench. Essentially, the guys are trying to make a move for themselves tonight. And you know, I like to fire up with the starters, baby. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for joining folks. us. Bye, folks. Third quarter. Now let's get you started for the third quarter. Let's give this up a run. To send you back to me, phone and Set of Beast. Guys, back to you. And we'd like to welcome you back here at the Vivint Smart Home Arena. The close game is in between the neck of a battle between the Suns and the Jacks. This all does turn out because of all this game it does we keep we see here that because of Donovan Mitchell, he had made his most of his career, but he does want to like want to spend their time and they want some help here to make him here and pay for it on offense. But now for this time you're on defense, they might need something to go by and they need to make it quick before the time runs out. So they're gonna need to try to like try to fix the things on offense and try to work their way around to give it another try. Now Bridges will start in here on a move and the rebound of Mike Crowder. Dish up again, makes his shot, and he gets his first bucket in the first half to second half. All quiet so far. And I definitely believe that Jay Crowder will have a chance to now to get the rebound or get the assist here. That might be in between the options. Rudy Gobert, the attacker, and the center goes right in the middle of the paint. 
Now this one keeps it going alive again and again to try to stop the pressure. The runout's going to be a very tough one for Rudy Gobert tonight. You better uh, keep your eyes on him because he is all big. And he's like he's like the deflector strong man. Ball for three. This is out, and it's Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Donovan Mitchell back in the other way. Booker on it. He's trying to make a cut move. Mitchell for three. I'm sorry, but Donovan for three. He makes it miss his shot. And now this one goes back to Booker. Three-pointer still off target here short here in the second half. In between those two. But there might not be any considerations if there's a chance here to hit the three-pointer on the mark. The making is very tough. Not just going to be, uh, it's not going to be very good to try to uh, set them up here on, on the defender, the offense. It was very tough. It's not going to help. And a two-pointer leads up here for Mitchell. Timeout call by Phoenix. Only 3.16 left. It's a 31 game here in game three. And they still got a lot of stuff to work on. Well, it's not going to be very uh, difficult to make a decision out there. They're all even alone. They wanted to spread things up here to try to knock them out again. If they don't have any of their uh, spirit to take, well, there is too much to try to like go for the other offense to go to offense and defense. This can be a very tough one to try to make things up a bit to try to settle up the run. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to an agent today at 1 800 State Farm. Orioles, official cookie here of the NBA. And by Gatorade. So much to cover here on offense right now as the new changes are being forgiven here. And now we sell things up here to make some new changes in between the teams. The teams really need somebody. They got some a lot of good numbers here. And Payne delivers a drive and now he has his bucket scored. Now there are two players quiet so far. Jay Crowder and Cameron Payne. But what about Cameron Johnson? Oh, well, I don't know. You could definitely tell that Cameron Johnson wants to give out a good try. He can go for it. Walker up to Gay. Payne on him. Shoots up and forward. The drive on this one, no good. Almost deflected away. McGee, right on Pashka. Clucks it outside. Goes in the, the elbow, and it's knocked the ball away. McGee takes a steal. Johnson, right to Gray, back to Johnson. Johnson delivers up to McGee. They're moving the ball around here in between his zones. And Johnson almost lost it. Pocket six. They need to get a shot here to try to make it. Three for Bridges. Off and in and around and about and it goes off the rim inside. Ooh, close one. It's a struggle in between those two. It's a very tough one to try to snap them by. Pashko back to Clarkson. The screen's on Gay. Two-pointer up. Carried out. And it's another rebound by Craig. They're shooting a lot harder than a percentage that they wanted to make, they make that throw. But it could be a very typical challenge to make the range to a bitter end. Johnson. Shot went too short. That's O'Neal with the rebound. O'Neal finds Gay. What a day. Great open look, but not a great open two for a making shot to tie the game. Yeah, it looks like they were doing a lot that much more. Because of that, they got a great eyeing offense to try to smack that down. McGee finds Craig. Craig back over to Bridges. Three to shoot. Drives inside. And it goes off target. One minute left here in the third quarter. It's going to be a very tough one. I think the next one could be a tie. Well, uh, we, we got to figure it out. Still not a good sight for the open pointer shot. Now Bridges will take it over in the wing. He finds pain. Over puts it. That gets a good feed and it's now up by four. 
They're losing their streak at that one. They're losing their patience. They got to, like, keep it back on the rhythm. Clarkson inside. It's rebounded by JaVale McGee. McGee has gotten his first rebound here in the game. And now he has it switched back over to Payne. Payne looking over the floor. Back it over is Johnson. Finds McGee. Moves up and one, and that gives him a good two-pointer easy bucket. And Cameron Johnson takes the assist. Well, what a great feed here. A lot of trouble making, it can be off the target. And that ends the third quarter. It's a 37-31 game. The Suns lead by six. There could be a chance now for the Jazz to come back in. If they don't, then it will be a 2-1 lead for Phoenix. Fourth quarter, next after this. Just about to be started up for the fourth quarter, as right now the score is 37-31. Well, we love the best play in uh, the highlights. In between those two, they got a great eye in between the matchup here. I think the next one could be a little bit more challenging off if they wanted to make that one a much better game than they have. Now Conley dishes off to Bogdanovich, which is outside here to cover him up. White side on Crowder. This is up over feed. This one rebounded again. That's a great deflection by Aiton. Over Gobert. And a two. Tilt that bucket in. That's Gobert with a number two point on there. Down by four. They're all looking for our hands on deck here for Rudy Gobert. That's because well, he knows he was shooting really well. He's got a great defender. He's got a great rebounding status. He is going for it. Crowder back pass to Aiden. With the two, takes that to feed off the target. And this one is a drive-in shot for DeAndre Aiden. That's five points in the game. It's now a 39-33 lead. Now Mitchell tries things over again. Step back on the fade. No good on that shot. They're really missing that too much. They gotta like try to slow it down a bit. Bridges finds Crowder. He goes over Gobert. That's an easy two for Crowder, and he gets his second bucket. Jay Crowder really knows that he can try to like keep it off with the top secret here to try to meet and leave it off the mark. But I think the next one could happen. That might be a little bit off way target on the bound. Whiteside loses the ball, and it's now Booker with the steal. Booker misses back over to Paul. He finds Crowder. Pocket six. Looker right over to Aiden. Two up and point. And makes a shot before the shot clock expires. And this one has given up a 43-33 10 lead for Phoenix. They are looking the muscle up here. They are just like they have done here for the all-star of the players. They got some, a lot of higher intense ratings over in between. And once again, no shot made here for Donovan Mitchell. Now Crowder. Booker inside. Excellent feed off in the middle. And it's Crowder with the assist. Booker's got six points in this game. He is delivering a hard pressure right now. Now high checking out the player. He might be going a big on, big out. Aiden with the ball. Now he dishes off to Booker. Booker right to Aiden. This is back to Booker. White side on cover. Now they're moving the ball around. Bridges, eight with the screen, two minutes to go. The driving shot. That goes in there from McCall Bridges. And a timeout has been called by Utah Jazz. This was a very tough play in for Beethoven. There is just a bunch of our players that did have it all with their best ability to try to make it steady. Stay tuned for the next game as we will have the switch on, switch off. As this will be an Eastern Conference matchup as we have this next one for you. This will be the Miami Heat and the Philadelphia 76ers happening here at Wells Fargo Center. Now the next game that we have it all here in Canada. 
will be the Grizzlies and the Warriors here at the Chase Center in San Francisco. And then, Bucks and Celtics at TD Garden Arena in Boston. We got some, a lot of great highlights here in between those two. And there might be one that can go for a player of the game. Well, I'm betting on that one. There's, there's got to be Devin Booker. So I'm going to put my hands on that one. Let's see if we can make that one through. Let's see what the call is. Third game, the player of the game goes to CP3. Oh, I was so close. It was not that. Chris Paul, he's delivering out there just like he did here before. Now, it might be a good pressure to make him feel like he is all out in the range. So, what a playmaking through for Chris Paul for him tonight. So, I think Chris Paul can, can, can try to do this one again and help the team out get back in the Western Conference Finals. Conley makes the three. This one is extra step, and this one goes back up. 47-36 is the score. Now, ball right over to Bridges. He moves over to Aiden. Moves back to Bridges. Bridges moves around the ball. Ball outside. Five to shoot. Driving shot. That goes in there in time as Chris Paul delivers the 12 points in the game. He's not going to lose this at all. He is never going to quit here. He's going to like try to like sneak him by and says, Hey, yo, I'm over right down here. Conley making a number three pointer. Down by 10. Now Chris Paul. This is back over to DeAndre Ian. Ian against Gobert. Now he dishes off to Crowder. Back to pass to Ian. Fade off shot. Oh, he got rejected out here. What a takeaway by Rudy Gobert. That really does that one here. He really was going to get there in time. And a two-pointer for Donovan Mitchell steps it up. It's down by eight. On just 50 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Crowder back to Bridges. Bridges right over to Crowder. Up and over head pass to Bridges. The call inside. Two-pointer gets off and carried away. Now just 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Bogdanovich inside makes a drive and it's Carly with the assist. He's rebounding it a lot more heavy than he had. And oh boy, I mean, he would have had that steal for Donovan Mitchell, but it was too late. And this one deserves to be a uh, JaVel McGee, a mobile one block. McGee was an excellent performer on defense. He's blocking it all over it. Since DeAndre Ayton wasn't going to able to try to like say help him save the day, but he did have it all in coverage. Jay Crowder delivers up a foul as Bobo McDonovich picks up a personal foul. Second team foul and second personal on McDonovich as Jay Crowder will head to the free throw line. Only 23.6 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. First free throw sends it in. And now the last changeup will be on the Suns and the Jazz. As four players are checked out for the Suns, four players are checked in. Bayambo, Payton, and Holiday are checked in. Back in right now is Shemi. And four players goes off as House, Hernan Gomez, and Ozubuk will check in for the Jazz. And a second free throw for Crowder delivers it in. Now the timeout will be the last one to carry for Utah Jazz. Just 23.6 to go. They really need this because they really want to shut things down here on offense and try to pick them up. They need to get some big help here to try to like put the ram pressure to stop them down. They got a lot of stuff to try to work them around here through.
We got a great game in between here. 51-43 is the score. And after he catch the game, the post-game conclusion will be happening here. After this game is over, there will be three star players of the game to be joining here from the sideline. And I will be taking the games over. So, it's coming up right after this game of this matchup. And now, and now the last substitution will be here for the Jazz to pick up here as Crowder is checked out. And a checking in, Torian Cray. House for three. First one gives up and, and no good traffic. Conley Alexander Walker for three. Gives him a good show. And this one is back inside. The feeling was now even the pressure here, and they wanted to like make them pay for it. And Azubriud has delivered his first personal, and Mayambu will head to the free throw line shooting two. He hasn't done here before for his shooting free throws for this percentage, but for some guys that you have done some a lot of two-pointing average, they have some a lot of uh, spirits that they can have here through. First free throw went off too short. The last change up here turned to be the Jazz that wants to give it up on the road. Free throw delivers here for Bayambo. Bayambo really knows this one. He hasn't done that much yet. Mitchell, oh, are you kidding me? And looks like O'Neal is coming back in the game. They have a lot of momentum going on. It looks like they're going to go back in to tie this game if they can get there in time. Well, that was a strong move out there. And now the next timeout has been delivered here. All the players really have to sub things out of here. They got to go back into work. I don't know what to tell you this, but this was all it does happen. I don't know what to tell you, but there's too much to cover. Back in new changes for the starting five in between those two. The teams really knows this hustle. Ball for two. Off the target. Three seconds. Two seconds. With the half court shot. He will not make it in time. And that delivers here for the lead of Phoenix Suns. 52 to 49 is your final score. Wow, what a game. I definitely couldn't tell. They were like taking the wave with the ball out of moment in time. It looks like they have it all down in the band. What a stun by those two teams that definitely push out the pressure. That was a hard failure of this one for the Jazz. And that was your tissue of your buzz beater giver tonight. That's a lot of game coverage here. Now we turn it up here for a shot clock and game clock. So thank you for joining us here. And I'll see you all again for the next game. Take care, folks. Until next time. Now we send you back over to me, folks, to Silver Spoon for the post-game show. Good night in Utah. Thank you guys so much. What a pleasure to have this one game. It could have been a tie making of this one run, but it might be too much to handle. Now let's check out the three star players of the game. Starting off here for number three, we have our number one here. First up we have is Chris Paul. 12 points, one rebound, two assists, and one steal. Only gives up a foul that he was bringing on, but not for him tonight here in game three. He was a New Balance player of the game. Just like he did have him here before. Now for number two. This one goes up to you to Mike Cunning. Ten points in games. Five rebounds. Seeing of the assist. And only did turn out to be just only a turnover. But he gave him up here on the run. No complaints about them. But he did have all of them on his own. He wants to do things again in game number four. And for your number one star. This one delivers a crusher. I go to Donovan Mitchell. 15 points, 1 rebound, and 5 assists of the game. It definitely did turn out that he was going to look for a chance to try to take the lead. But I'm thinking that might be another one to go for game number 4. So, this could be the next chance if they could step back in the game. So, we'll never know. There might be some happening going to take along the outside. So that is it for the game. Stay tuned for the next matchup as the Sixers will be playing against the Heat 
here in Philadelphia at Wells Fargo Center. And I am your host here of your truly Silver Spoon. This has been a presentation of the NBA Conference Semifinals of the NBA Playoffs of 2K Sports. With that being said, take care everyone and peace out for a while as the NBA Playoffs of 2K22 dial. I'm your host now, Mephone, with the Son of Beast, and for your truly here, I'm Silver Spoon. Have a wonderful night here in Utah, and join in for the next game, Sixers and the Heat. Coming up next, after this. See you guys folks next time. Goodbye.